Hey everyone, this is Jesse with FarmingSeattle.com. Wanted to do an update on the aquaponics system. Um, it's been going pretty well. It's been raining quite a lot. As you can see, the drain pipe is pretty close to the water level. Um, I did notice that we had one floater kind of getting stuck. I don't even know if I can get him, actually. But one, one fish, looks like he didn't make it. And what I was going to do is, uh, I'm going to get him out of here. Uh, basically my plan is to uh, plant these somewhere where it'll provide fertilizer for everything else. So no idea why this guy died. Uh, but it's probably due to him being a feeder goldfish. So I'm going to cover him up with all these wood chips and he will fertilize these plants in here. Oh, I'll get it later, but the mulberry will be happy. Um, a couple updates. Uh, got some of these. If I can get focus. All the plants in there so far are doing well. Uh, probably a couple more weeks and we'll probably have some roots on some of these guys. Because I don't see anything yet with the elderberry down below. Uh, Bell siphon's been working great, no issues whatsoever. And I planted some lettuce and Swiss chard. Uh, the lettuce was just from the grocery store, the Swiss chard. Uh, came out of the yard, so we'll see if that actually grows, but other than that, strawberries look like they're doing fine. Goji berry cuttings, doing fine. Uh, so, today I wanted to show the expansion. Um, basically I want to put two large trays on each side. Right here and right there. I need to plumb it to each side. Uh, but basically there's a large concrete mixing trays and I'm not sure what kind of beds they'll be, probably ebb and flow beds to start out with, so I'll go show that right now. So these are the larger um, concrete mixing trays and you can get them at Home Depot, I think they're about 14 bucks, I want to say they're around 21 uh, 21 gallons or so something like that so I'll uh, show you the progress on what I'm doing got these banjo um, bulkheads that we'll put in each side will have uh, some male fittings on each end and a two inch uh, cap and PVC pipe this is how it kind of will look like in each end so first, I'm going to drill a hole in the corner, just like that. This is just a two and a quarter inch hole saw, um, and I'll do that and then come back and show you how the uh, bulkhead is installed. Let's see if I can get this torque right. What is in there? Just like that, we have the hole. Let me stop it there and grab the bulkhead. So one thing I'm going to do is clean up all the burrs. I'm trying to make this as flat as possible, just so that it has a good seal on there. And I have some aquarium um, silicone sealant uh, that you can purchase on Amazon, get fish tanks. Um, sealed up with it. So I'll do that on both sides. I'll put some of this sealant on there and I uh, will go from there. Alright, so we got the bulkhead on and it's a uh, counterclockwise bulkhead. 
So, let's see if I can get this while I'm filming it. So, trying to get it as as flat as possible on there. Excuse my filming. Uh, before I tighten it up all the way, I'll put a bead of silicone in there. Um, just beneath the uh, rubber gasket, right right along the, uh, the middle of it. So I'll put that on. I'll put uh, this end cap on the other side, and then we'll have a sealed bulkhead in about five minutes, which is pretty easy. Okay, so finished bulkhead. Sealed, it's tight. Um, I'll put in the uh, other ones and put on the uh, male fittings and that should be good for one of them. And then I just have to build a stand and get them ready to go to sit down.